hey guys do you know in pandas we can do inner join outer join left join right join and there is something called cross join with very simple examples i am going to explain in this video what are they and how the different outputs comes when you pass these parameters so let's see how everything is done in detail in this video so why delay let's get started all right so we are going to see each of this with examples inner join outer join left join right join and cross join so let's get started the very first thing we will do will import pandas as pd so i'm creating a alias name and then i have got few data frames already created so that i don't spend time in typing this and i'm going to pass all of this in the description so from the description itself you can copy this so you can avoid typing so here i'm saying df1 and if i run this this is how the data frame looks it has got an employee id it has got an employee name and few data inside this okay let me get the data frame 2 and here i am going to print data frame 2 and if i do a shift run you can see it also has employee id and project name now if i am asking you in both of these data frames what is common is employee id you can see it has got employee id column I and mean, this has got employee id column it has got an extra column called employee name it has got an extra column called project name now when you do merge what happens we will see so the very first thing we will do is inner join what is it inner join now let me show you the pandas documentation in the pandas documentation we pass this join functions through a parameter called how so we pass the left data frame right data frame and then this parameter how is equals to we write it so first of all let me show you okay now for this let's create a variable called results is equals to i am saying pd and i am saying merge and the first data frame is df1 comma df2 comma what is the parameter so now the merge has to happen one of the important parameter is you have to say on what right the merge is happening there is a parameter called on okay so on so i am saying the merge you should do on employee id that means employee underscore id so employee id is the common column so i am saying based on employee id you do the merge now i will say how is equals to i am saying in now let's print this then you will be able to understand the difference okay now when you run it you will see employee id has come employee name has come and project name has come so it has joined both the data frames based on employee id column now if you see it has actually done an inner join inner means what it will check in employee id what are the values which are common in both of the data frames now if you see 101 is, is it present in the other data frame yes 102 is it present no 102 is not present so in the output if you see the 102 value is not there same thing if you compare the data frame 1 right if you see 102 value is not there so in the output did not come okay now in the data frame 2 106 value is there now that 106 value is not present in the first data frame so the output also doesn't contain so the output will only contain the value of your uh, merge where the values are both are present in both the data frames only those things are shown here so that is inner join okay now what would happen when you do so we can learn both the things at the same place inner and outer join so the moment i say outer what would happen it is going to get you everything so if i'm going to run this so what happened by running this is i got both the values so you can see 101 102 has come where we had the employee name but no project was assigned so nan and sometimes based on the requirement you might go for inner join or outer join when you need everything it's more like a union so it is like union of everything 106 and it has got the values it has got project name but no employee name okay so it is working on both the data frames now let's next thing we will see left join and right join okay now let's see what is left 
and write join these are the two things we will see now for this again what you do copy the same thing because the only parameter that you have to change is this so here if i am saying and remember everything is written in lowercase left and if i run it what is happening the left let me show you the documentation okay so when you say left what happens use only keys from the left frame similar to sql left outer join preserve the key order so what what is the meaning left means data frame 1 you see data frame 1 data frame 1 contains 101 102 this is the data frame 1 now it contains everything from data frame 1 when you say left that means you are saying whatever is there in the left data frame you keep all the data and whatever is matching from data frame 2 you show that so now all the data is there now all the matching data has come for all the employees except 102 because 102 doesn't have a 102 doesn't belongs to data frame 2 so for that it has left it as nn not a number but again all the left values are kept same thing when you do right i think it is quite simple to understand when i say right it will keep the data frame 2 so if i run it you can see the data frame 2 has 106 so the 106 has come okay you can also interchange these values and experiment so you have understood what is a left join and what is a right join now let's see the new concept that is a cross what is a cross join what would happen when i do a cross join so let me write cross join now to understand cross join first of all you have to have a very simple data frame so here i am passing some two simple data frames okay so if you print df1 this is how abc and if you print df2 the id column 1 2 3 pretty single column see abc 1 2 3 now when you write cross what happens first of all let me show you that okay so i will just copy this and cross won't accept any of these parameters on and all that you have to remove everything and then you have to write cross okay cross now when you run this what would happen what is happening abc so the definition says creates the cartesian product from both frames preserves the order of the left key so your left key order is kept so output what is done a b c the order is kept so what exactly cross is doing a a it takes all the values from the data frame 2 like id column has called 1 2 3 so what is the output a1 a2 a3 same thing b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 so this is what is called cross so one remains the primary and it is getting all the values from the data frame 2 and final output will look like this so you understood this cross now let's apply the cross with the previous data frame okay so here instead of here here i am simply saying cross and if i run this what is happening again you should not have see you will get an error cannot pass on you cannot pass on parameter right on parameter left on parameter like that it is giving an error that means all these parameters you should not pass while you are using cross okay it has to be simply like this and i'm going to run it so when i uh, okay so data frame one let i have to rerun it okay because df1 took a different value right so you have to rerun it so that the df1 variable gets the proper data and then you run it so what happened now if you see 101 from the data frame one it got connected with project a b c d and e right and then 102 got connected with all the values from data frame 2 so whatever the values are there in the left data frame gets connected with all the values from the data frame 2 so you can see one zero. so all these things are also coming okay so that is the meaning so that is why i have given you a pretty simple example first so that you understand a b c and one two three so you understood what a cross does so here are the definitions so when you do left you use only keys from the left frame when you do right use only keys from the right frame when you do outer use union of keys from both the frames when you do inner use intersection of keys from both the frames that means the common data is only shown and when you do cross 
preserves the order of the left keys. So you saw all these examples pretty nicely. Try it out and once you are done, please do comment that you have done this exercise. Simply say done with the exercise or if you have understood the topic, I would love to read your comments. So please do comment in all the videos that you are watching. So thank you guys for watching. We are going to meet once again in the next content. Till then take care.